Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to create a HDR image using a single raw file. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and all it is is combining differently exposed images of the same photograph to bring out detail which would otherwise be lost in areas of shadow or for instance a sky where detail will be lost because it is so bright compared to the normally exposed subject. So first of all you need to open your raw image in your raw image processing software. I use Digi Canon Digital Photo Professional, you can use Adobe Lightroom. Uh, save a version of the image at full quality JPEG, um, normally exposed. Remember to tweak it before you export it to how you wish um, with the settings such as the contrast, the white balance etc. Then you need to create, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this with just three images, you can use more if you wish. Then I'm creating an overexposed image, this will bring out the detail on the hedgerow and in the shadows areas. And then an underexposed version of the image, this will stop the sky from blowing out in the final image and bring plenty of colour back to the sky. Um, so then make sure you save each file as separate JPEGs and reference the name so that you know what they are, i.e. underexposed, overexposed, normal. And then the next step is to open some HDR creation software. I'm going to use Luminance, it's a free piece of software. Uh, please make a donation, it's fantastic that they actually give you this software to use for free. All you do is import the photographs with the different exposures, all three of them, or however many you choose. Import them into the software. And then select each image and tell the software its exposure level. See the slider there, you move it depending whether it's overexposed, underexposed or normally exposed and tell it the exposure value. And then once you've done that you click next and you're presented with a preview um, box. Uh, you don't really need to do anything here. Uh, this is more so if you take individual images rather than using the same raw image where you will have to correct for ghosting if there's any movement between shots but the advantage of using raw is that that doesn't matter. Once you're in luminance you can see some previews of different settings down the side you can click on them but make sure that you set the image size to your maximum um, resolution so that you don't lose quality and then play with the settings it's a little bit trial and error and then click on tone map and then it will combine the images and process your HDR image um, and then one thing to note is once you save the image that it will be a huge JPEG file um, it will probably be likely then that you need to open it with something like uh, Photoshop and save it for web and devices so that you get a uh, usable image size. So that's all that uh, there is to it. It's a case of trial and error with the different settings um, to create different effects. So this is the final image from this tutorial combining those three images. That's the original. If you flick backwards and forwards you'll be able to compare. Um, after having a play with it this is what I came up with. It's probably a little oversaturated in terms of colour but I wanted it to be colourful. Again this is another example for the original overexposed and an underexposed image all combined to create a HDR image. Don't forget that you can easily tweak the image after you've created your HDR image in Photoshop. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave me video responses when you have a go yourself. I'd be interested to see exactly what you come up with. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe.